Okay, everybody. So we are now at the point where we're going to be sorting out this data uh, and removing any of the bad data that slipped through. And I'm going to walk you again through my thoughts um, so that you know what you're looking at and you know the process you want to take. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do this. And we're going to just follow along with me. Okay. It is, it is a tedious process. There is some work that needs to be put in here. Um, so please bear with me. If you need to speed up the video, speed up the video. That's totally fine. Uh, but let's, let's go into it. So I have all my data organized, right? Highest to lowest. And right off the bat, the first thing I can see is this one property that's doing twice the amount of the second highest property. Instantly, you should think to yourself, that is wrong because chances are it's wrong. And almost you know, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's actually wrong. So for whatever reason, Airbnb might be tracking this data in a way where uh, days are actually getting booked and not blocked. Uh, and so that happens quite a bit. The only other option here is that maybe it's a luxury property. So the only other case where you're going to see a revenue jump like that is a very luxurious property. And so the, obviously that being the first property on our list, that's what we're going to have to go through. And one thing I'm going to do here is actually remove the reven, uh, number of reviews next to revenue, because I really like to see how many reviews have been, um, have gone through, uh, because that's a really quick indicator if it's good data or bad data. Now I can see there's 137 reviews here and they're doing really well. So, um, that it could mean that it's good data, but what we're actually going to do is go to this link and open up the link and take a look at the home itself. And we're going to go through a little checklist. Okay. Uh, now we've already gone through a, a bad data checklist, uh, once before, right? So I told you about all the different things to look out for. So you have an idea of how to, uh, what, how to look for bad data. And that's the process we're going to use right now when we go through everything here. Okay. So first thing that I see is that it is actually a really nice place, which is awesome. It's got great photos. It's got good views. I can see they're maximizing the bedrooms, nice leather chairs, um, and, and pretty well put together. Look, you can even tell they got a good amount of beds here as well. Like these actually, uh, that bottom part there is a, is a, as a single bed and this top part here is a single bed as well. So that slides out. So there's two more beds. Uh, so right off the bat, it may be real is my first thought. Okay. We already know there's a bunch of reviews. So as you can see, they have 180 reviews. Uh, I know the data that I showed, it's a little bit older, so it has 137. Um, but yeah, so 180 reviews, it's good to see. Uh, right off, the, I, I can also see here, it hosts 13 guests, which is quite a bit for three bedrooms. And obviously they're squeezing them in through these uh, extra couch beds, right? We wanna really, really confirm this. So um, let's scroll down here and go to the calendar. We can see that the calendar is spotty, which is what we wanna see. So you can see the weekends are booked out. That's great. That means he's most not likely not uh, blocking that calendar. And then if we keep scrolling, we want to see bookings for every single month for the past 12 months. Right. Um, and obviously we're already seeing a bunch of September bookings, which is awesome. Then we're seeing August as well. This is actually one of the extremely rare cases where a really high revenue number is might actually be right. Or it might be real data. Look at, we're seeing actual bookings all the way through. This is incredible because I was not expecting this whatsoever. I believe I said it earlier in the video is 99.9% .9 chance that it was inaccurate data. And I'm being really, really thorough with this because I don't want to say that this place that's doing twice the amount of everyone else is real without really figuring out the data. But as you can see, look at the number, look at how many reviews they have for every single month. This is impressive, right? We're only back to March. We've already gone through quite a bit of uh, reviews here. So I'm feeling very, very confident that this person has actually been listing for the entire time uh, and that their number, their revenue number is actually real. So they're actually doing double the amount of everybody else, which is super cool to see um, because that's, that's extremely rare. But obviously they have just maximized the amount of people that can sleep in this uh, three bedroom, two bath. And it's a really nice condo and they put it together really well. So uh, good for you, Jason. That's very impressive. And I'm going to confirm that this is real data. It checked off every single box. Honestly, God, that like never happens where you see the revenue that high. So uh, pretty impressed, pretty impressed. Okay, cool. Let's keep moving forward. Um, now, right off the bat, I can see these are really nice photos. My mind instantly goes uh, most likely real, right? Uh, just because when somebody takes photos like this and does it really a good job on their listing and their advertising, it's usually real, right? Um, just to, just to let you know. So um, I'm seeing 87 reviews as well. A nice, uh, really great reviews, uh, super host, all those are great signs, but I want to go down and confirm that the calendar is spotty. And as you can see, it's nice and spotty. Um, and then I want to see the reviews as well. So I can see the reviews are coming through and I can already tell that this is a real listing. Um, the, what that means is like all the listings are real, but this is one that's operating on a full-time basis all the way throughout the entire year. 
And so I can trust in the revenue number that I'm seeing because that's what I'm going to be doing if I go into this location. I'm going to be a full-time host renting this out on, uh, as a business, right? So once again, we have another listing that's uh, confirmed good data. So that feels great to see. So I'm going to highlight that green as well. And then we can just keep going through here, guys, uh, one by one, just confirming that everything is right. And this is really, really useful as well because I've already decided that I like this neighborhood. I've already decided that I like this unit size. I like the amount of revenue that I'm seeing. And so now what I'm doing is I'm confirming all the data, but at the exact same time, I'm also taking a look at all of these listings and I'm seeing what they're doing well, where they're located. And so it's kind of like a two for one here, right? Uh, once again, I know this is a real listing, 491 reviews, super host, uh, 4.95, uh, star rating, uh, great photos. Like I'm going to bump down to the calendar. You can see the weekends are all booked off. They're doing a good job there as well. Uh, and then when I look into the reviews, so this actually just freaked me out for a second here. I saw March, uh, of 2019, then 2017, 2016. But what this is, is that they have literally so many reviews that Airbnb is just grabbing them from all over the place because they've just been hosting for such a long time. So once again, this is an awesome Airbnb -er, and now we can see the 2021 uh, reviews we can see those ones coming through so that's i that's all i need for this one i know that it's real i'm feeling really great about this um and we're gonna mark that one off as green as well now you may be thinking to yourself like john these all these hosts are are real like why are you going through all this you don't need to do this like you know what i mean like the just trust in the data but that's not the case because look at i just opened up this listing here and it went nowhere so i went right back to the home page which means that this landlord or this uh host for whatever reason has turned down, like took off their listing. And because I can't look into their actual listing and see what they're doing, see what kind of menus they have, what kind of home they have, uh, if it's like all the little nitty gritty details that I need, it's no longer useful for me. So I have to consider that bad data, okay? And you have to consider it bad data as well. Now, once again, um, this is looking like a great place. Uh, 40 reviews, it's a lot less than the other ones. Great reviews though, or uh, great star rating, super host. You can see it's a nice, really well put together house. Um, obviously it's a nice rebuild. This guy probably built it specifically for Airbnb. Let's go check out the calendar. Calendar's nice and spotty. See the reviews, September, August. That's all I need to see. I'm feeling good about that as well. So we're going to mark that one as green. Okay. And we're just going to keep on keeping on. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to cut this video short and just get like all the way through it, but I think it's really helpful for you to see that this is a part of the process, right? We need to confirm all this data. Uh, now you're seeing here, it is right back to the home page. That's not useful for us. We don't need that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put, make that red and then move on to the next one. Right. And keep going. Now, as you're going through this and when you're, you're when you've been doing this a lot, like you're going to start to realize like, oh, wow, this is a, this is a pretty good home. It's a pretty nice home. And what should happen and what you'll realize after we get to a certain point is you're going to see the quality of the home, the quality of the listing, the quality of the marketing all start to drop. Okay. Um, here's a prime example of that already. We have a 4.23 in comparison to everybody else. And, uh, this person's making less of the, than those guys that we just went through, right? Cause we're going in order. Uh, but they host 16 people. That's crazy. They have a pool. This person should be making more than other people. Uh, but let's just keep going. Calendar is looking good and they have no reviews for September, which is kind of odd, but there could be a reason behind that because I'm seeing reviews for everything else. So I'm feeling pretty confident about it. I'm going to consider this to be real data as well are useful data for us. It's all real data because uh, data is just facts, but we're just going to keep on keeping on. Probably said that a few times already. <laughs> I apologize. I feel like I'm just talking, talking, talking. So here's a, here's another great example. Um, really well put together home, great design, bad photos. This is, you know, like these photos are not good. They're on an angle. They're taken with someone's phone. If they had just got a professional host, they'd be able to, or a professional photographer, they'd be able to ask for a higher revenue amount on a daily basis. Okay. You can see that they only host seven people, which is probably another reason why they're making less than everybody else, but they have 235 reviews, a great star rating. They have, they're a super host. Uh, their calendar is what I expected it to be. And we can see that their reviews have been coming through as you'd expect. So once again, good data. Um, but obviously like their, their marketing is not as good. I'm telling you right now, photos are hands down. One of the most important things you can put into an investment on an Airbnb you are marketing up against thousands of other Airbnbs. And if you do not have good photos, you are not going to be able to ask the price that you should be able to ask for. Here's another example of that. Um, this is just, it's a dark photo. Okay. But Airbnb, ho Airbnb plus. So, uh, a lot of reviews, great star ratings, super host. They're hitting all the boxes. Calendar looks good. Reviews looks good. So we're going to call that good to go. Right. Uh, righty, righty. 
Okay, and now we're going to keep going from here. I don't know how those guys that do a uh, single man podcast do it. Okay, so I love this. You know what I love about this is that as we're going through, you can just see these listings keep getting worse and, and, and worse. And like, this isn't a terrible listing, but it makes sense to me why it's not making as much as the other ones, right? It's a worse product, so they can't ask for as much. Um, it's just how it is. But it seems to be a real host. You know, the photos are, are, are decent, okay? Um, and we have a good amount of reviews. I can see that they're they're doing fairly well with that. We got the calendars booked out, and ooh, maybe oh I can see. Okay, they just have a lot of reviews, so that's why we're seeing these old reviews up front. But September, August, awesome. Okay, cool. So I'm feeling good. Let's hop back over here. So we're gonna cancel that out. I probably should have chosen an area that had less Airbnbs to go through, but I think it's more useful for you guys to see me repetitively do this over and over again. Um, because I really want to drill down the importance of actually seeing this. Now, here's an interesting one where I would consider this home to be uh, better than the last home we just saw, but technically it's doing worse. And what I just, you can see here, this is turnkey. So it's a property management company, a very large property management company, and their homes tend to make less money because they just, um, they do for whatever reason. Now here's, th this is a, a great, great, great example. We have 10 reviews only on this home. Now, mind you, Turnkey has their own platform on their own on their website that um, allows people to book, and they also go on Expedia and Booking.com and VRBO. They're on all of those sites with all their listings, so it's expected to be a low amount of reviews when we see a, a, a Turnkey company like this or Vacasa stuff like that. So this is one of the rare, rare cases where you have a big property management company um, that may be listing this out on a full-time basis but we have low reviews. So it's kind of hard to say, is this actually a real listing or is it, or sorry, is this data accurate on a full-time basis or is it not? I believe that it actually is because they're most likely renting it out through say VRBO or their own website. And when they do that, it blocks off the calendar here on Airbnb. And then when AirDNA comes in, um, they see a blocked, uh, a block, like the, they see the days blocked off and they think it's a booking, but it is actually a booking just on a different platform. And it's most likely around the exact same amount that they'd be renting this out on any uh, on Airbnb, right? So odds are it's most likely accurate um, because of that reason, but that's not always the case. Usually when you see 10 reviews, it's usually uh, a bad sign, okay? So, but you can see that there's some re reviews uh, a little bit from each month. So I'm feeling pretty confident that this is actually a real list, real information, nice and spotty calendar. Yeah, I think they're just rented out full-time. They're just not booking full-time through Airbnb. However, it's interesting because once again, we're seeing a listing that is nicer than the last one we just looked at. However, the last one uh, was doing technically better. And I believe that's simply because of turnkey. Okay. So, and it, they also only host six guests where, you know, they have some other people that they're going up against who host like 16 people, right? Which is, which is crazy. So um, keep those things in mind as you're going through, because they're very important uh, and they're going to, and they're going to matter when time comes. When the time comes that you have to go and do this yourself, you got to go through and you got to look at these listings. You got to determine, is this real? Is it not? And you're kind of getting nervous. We'll just refer back to this information. And you'll get a good feel for it. Here's another example. Once again, quality of the listing is, is come straight down, right? Like this is a very boring listing. Um, the photos aren't taken very well. There, there's not a lot popping. And if you want to, if you, if you're forgetting, right, what the good ones are looking like, let me just bounce back over. This is what a good listing looks like. This is what one that is kind of boring looks like. Here's one that's making $75,000 a year. And here's one that's making like 40, right? I'm not actually sure how the exact amount, but let's see. Yeah, 48,000. So that this is a, a, a $30,000 difference between this one and this one. And I guarantee you it has a lot to do with just the style, the photos, the way that the uh, uh, kitchen is made, the, the layout, probably location has a little bit to do with it as well. All these things come into play, okay? Um, and they're hosting 11 guests, which is crazy. So anyways, we have... 80 reviews, um, decent star rating, super host, uh, spotty calendar, all good, right? So let's go back and go, okay, yep, that's real data, and cross that off. And then we come to the next one here. Open back, open up. All righty. If you think this video is long, just wait till we have to go through each individual property and, and try to understand them. So, and try to compare them and see what they're doing, what uh, all the thoughts and process that go into that stuff. So. We got 65 reviews, good stars, super host, uh, spotty calendar, obviously good data once again. Um, this one actually intrigues me because I think it looks pretty good. 
but for whatever reason, it's not performing really well. And I, I can kind of get a feel for it. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that uh, later on. Another thing that I want to check, just because I kind of like that home, I think it should be doing better than $40,000 a year. So I want to see uh, how many days it's been tracked for. And it's actually only tracked for th for 300, which is roughly around the same. You're only missing like a month or two. So that really shouldn't be the reason that uh, it's doing that amount. So we'll figure that out in the next video as to why this home's actually doing what it's doing. But let's finish up with our last two properties here. Um, mind you, when you're doing this, do you really need to go through every single last one and um, figure out the, the information? I apologize. I have the itchiest nose right now. <laughs> it is not a drug related thing. My mustache keeps touching up there and itching it. And it's probably because I'm talking so much. <laughs> All right. Anyways, this home, once again, intrigues me. Why is it only doing $37,000 throughout the year? This is a pretty well designed home for the most part. It is fairly boring. It's really plain. There's not a lot going on, but it's really nice looking from the outside. I wouldn't say that there's a huge difference automatically when I first look at this from this home and maybe this home, right? There's not a crazy difference between these two. So there has to be something else that's going on that is causing this. Oh, look at the calendar. It's not spotty. That's not good. Look at there's no there's no inconsistency with any of this. So that tells me that this is most likely not a full time active listing and i could even see they only have 35 reviews but that's still a good enough a good amount of reviews we're not seeing any um we're not seeing any any uh september october or sorry september august um there's only one for june okay so i don't trust in this data it's uh th these reviews are way too spotty the host is a regular person not a property management company the amount that they're making is less than they should be making. There's something going on with this property. Maybe the person only rents it out when they're leaving. Um, and and so w for whatever the reason may be, like maybe they're just on vacation or, or something along those lines, I don't believe that that's real data because of the things that I just mentioned. So I'm going to block that off and I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Uh, let's also close that one up so we're not going through it. Um, and here's the last one which is kind of adding up. You can tell the quality of the home is less than the other homes. Uh, a bunch of reviews, good, good rating, super host, a lot of super hosts in Austin, spotty calendar. And uh, we're seeing the reviews that we want to see from 2021. Okay, cool. So I uh, feel good about that one and we're going to check it off. So now at this point, we have officially determined what is good data and what is bad data, right? And now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to figure out what these people are doing right, right? Minus the ones that are red and what these people are doing wrong. And we're going to make sure we're going to make a list of all the things here that these guys are doing well and a, a list of all these things people are doing wrong. And we're going to try and figure out how we can find a product that is this level and not this level. Okay. So let's move into the next video where we're actually going to go through that. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. I hope you kind of get a good feel for all this. I hope you're taking some notes as you're going through, just like all my videos, and I'll uh, see you in the next video.